Hey guys, I made this video for you because uh, I'm pretty concerned about the essays and I just need to say one quick thing and also help you study for them in this last minute before the actual APs. I'm also not sure I'm going to see all of you before uh, the actual AP exam on Friday. So here's the gist of it. Basically, I have been looking at all of your thesis statements and they pretty much stink. They are way, 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 way too general. You're saying things like Franklin Roosevelt changed America a lot. The populist movement uh, was really important. You're not actually answering the question. I'll give you an example in just a minute, and I'm going to give you some ways to practice the essays as well. It's really not that complicated. Just basically answer the question with some kind of specifics, not an individual fact, but like a category of facts. Uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. Take a look at this essay right here. This essay is about the Franklin Roosevelt question about to what extent, evaluate to what extent the New Deal changed things. And notice the thesis statement which starts uh, right about here. The election of Roosevelt was a major turning point in United States politics and society which, again, a lot of you have said, but most of you end there. But he goes on, as his programs led to an expanded role for the federal government, a dramatic increase in federally funded programs, and a new expectation from the people to be given benefits and protected in times of hardship. And you'll notice what I wrote there. What is so great about this thesis statement is it's general but still specific. It gives you an idea of what the essay is going to be about. It tells you that my first paragraph is going to be about um, the role of the federal government. The next one's going to be about the federally funded programs. And finally, you'll know he's going to talk about um, Roosevelt's fireside chats and uh, expectations that people had from him. So in every way, this is a really, really, really good thesis, and it's the kind of one that you need to be looking for in all cases, not just generalities. Be as specific as you can. So coming over here, you'll see a, a very, very, very quick uh, chicken scratch, if you don't mind, of how you can prepare for the essays and, of course, the DBQs. Make three columns. Choose different kinds of essay prompts, compare and contrast, describe, and evaluate the extent, which means basically how much did it change. Then pick all the major phenomenons and major events that you can think of in American history, like the Civil War, World War II, uh, phenomenon like the rise of women, uh, the role of racism, uh, the industrialization in America, uh, religion in America, different phenomenons and, and different events, the American Revolution, and uh, other kinds of ideas. And then just say things like compare and contrast how World War I and World War II affected America. Describe the role of racism in the North and the South in America. Evaluate the extent of the Civil War in changing America's, and throw in different words like here, American's political life, American's social life. Remember the three Three ways of analyzing things are politically, socially, and economically. I'm telling you, this is a major, 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 major way to study. It's a way you should study because you're not just preparing for the essays. You're preparing for the SAQs, the DBQs, and you're also preparing for the multiple choices. If you have any questions, please email me or ch talk to me in class. Okay, we've got uh, one more thing left as far as a grade goes in class, and that's going to be an open book quiz on the last chapter. So um, hopefully you'll all get an A on that. Good luck studying, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow or the next day.